Are you serious? Are you serious? This is going to require a strong cup of coffee because if Kim Jong-un dies, who takes over the dynasty in North Korea? Well, something's going on, guys, because the Daily Beast has just come out with an article on if Kim Jong-un dies, his younger sister is prime to take over. This this means to me that he is in very serious condition. We know this. And that the president said, good luck. The fact that yesterday the Pentagon announced a contingency plan in case chaos breaks loose and millions of North Koreans want to flee into China. What do we do? First of all, let me put a shout out right now to uh, noblegoldinvestment.com. That's www.noblegoldinvestment.com. So the preppers are going to say, I told you so, but you wouldn't go. Yeah. Well, and the financial advisors are scrambling now to justify their actions on your retirement funds. Matter of fact, but it all means diddly squat, really, doesn't it? I mean, think about it. This isn't the time for the blame game. Please stop the blame game. And this is the time, though, to help each other out. And before this crisis ever happened, that's exactly what Noble Gold Investment was doing. They'd been helping investors to to educate themselves and discover new ways of avoiding financial disaster. That's uh, That's still the case even right now. And they're offering right now to talk to you for free about what choices might still be on the table to rescue your retirement Plans. They have helped hundreds of uh, people secure their stock back IRAs with gold and silver uh, to stop them from falling so hard. It's time for you to get into the world of physical precious metals before it's too late. So have a chat with noblegoldinvestment.com. Get, pick up the phone. Call Colin Plume or his staff at 877-646-5347. That's 877-646-5347. And uh, let them help you take care of your financial needs. Tell them Pastor Paul Begley sent you. Well, here's the situation developing right now. The Daily Beast has just come out with an article. She's been the rising political star of the dynasty where others would be heirs to the Kim dynasty wound up dead. Little Kim, that's right. Uh, Kim Yo Young, Kim Yo Jung. International coming out party took place when the world's press gushed about her younger, his younger sister, uh, Kim Young Yo Young, who is the younger sister of the supreme, the supreme leader Kim Jong Un. The, uh, the situation is this young, slender, smiling, gracious, seemingly to be ve- so very different from her uh, brother. Uh, but now that his health is in serious question after having major bypass surgery and maybe even on a vent at this moment, we're not sure, but he's in serious condition. According to CNN, he's in grave condition. Uh, all of a sudden, the question now amid the conflicting reports that could be that he's at death's door, his little sister may well be the first to carry out the family name and the family dynasty. Uh, uh, While she may not be overly qualified to rule, she has this, folks. She's a survivor. She survived when her brother did a bloody family purge back when he first took over. Remember when he put his uncle in a cage with 120 hungry hound dogs naked and they ate him alive. Well, his sister and brother have been close for years. They've been very close to each other. She's advised him on key events in North Korea's capital and encouraging construction of modern apartments and ski slopes and even an amusement park she had put in. But it was during those Olympic Games that she shone as a major figure before the world. It was then as a luncheon meeting at the Blue House, the center of power of South Korea, that she gracefully handed South Korean's President Moon Jae-in 
a handwritten note from her brother suggesting they get together for a summit. As a Blue House spokesman described the encounter, Kim Yo Jung embellished the writing verbiage with polite words of her own. And Big Brother hoped that they could get together sooner rather than later at the earliest convenience. Uh, Moon, who had been looking for a reconciliation with the North Koreans, was thrilled. He said, let's create an environment for that to happen, was his all too eager response. Well, she is more than just kindness. She comes from a family of ruthlessness. She knows all about the butchering, the murdering, the executions. She knows all about the gulags, the prison, in, prison encampments, the starvations, the brutality, the tyrant, terror, tyrant, tyranny that this nation has been under uh, for 70 some years. What would she do differently? Would she be more open to a more freer society? Or would she rule with a a iron fist inside a velvet glove? I think that the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. And my opinion is, you think Kim Jong-un was bad. There's no, I mean, hell knows no fury than the scorn of a woman. And so I think this is a very interesting situation. But it sounds like to me that the mass media here in America is already starting the process of presenting her to the world as a kinder, more gentler Kim Jong-un. Instead, Kim Yo-jung. Let's wait and see how this plays out. But I got a feeling that the West is going to embrace her if she's willing to play nice. But internally, I wouldn't want to be a fly on the wall and I wouldn't want to be a soul trapped in that communist country of North Korea. Pray for those people. The church, the Christians in North Korea, they have been so, so horribly treated in this atheistic, communistic empire of tyranny. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Things are changing so fast around the world. Nations are, power is shifting. The beast is rising. We're in the last days. Are you saved?